everybody. It is Sunday, November 27th, 1.07 p.m. Yes, my hair is still drying. Anyway, um, we had the two little ones and their mom over for Thanksgiving. We told you that because dad's a firefighter. He was on duty. Nobody, including my daughter, wanted them to be home alone, so we invited them over. And it's not the first time, but it won't be the last time that we've been around little kids that have then graciously given us something. <laughs> In this case, a cold. I, as you can tell, am not really sick. I don't sound that different than normal. Mr. Bob, however, is really not feeling well. Well, so he has taken some meds and he's napping in his office. I am taking some immune boosters and staying away from him because I don't want to get sick. Anyway, I also had, was going through laundry. It's that time of year. And our local Fred Meyer, which is part of the Kroger's chain of grocery stores, um, once a year, you know, I'm sure there's a store by you, they have like socks and stuff on, on sale, on clearance, right? And so that's the time of year that reminds me when I go in there, I see the big sock tables. I'm like, ooh, socks. Um, and I try to remember to clean out my old socks before I do that and pull out all the ones with holes in them. Um, I sometimes forget. But anyway, this year I found three pair of socks with holes in them. So I did buy new socks. Generally, of course, the old socks go in the trash because what do you do with them? I found something. I made some wristbands for when I'm out doing my sketch walks. I have something to wipe my brush on and it's around my wrist, so it's very handy. So I just cut the toe and ankle off and then I took two socks and I zigzagged them together on my sewing machine. And two layers of sock thick. So that's perfect for wiping my brush in between uses, perfect. And I don't have to worry about carrying a rag or something with me. And I've got two spares. I have another one that I made out of an old towel. That works too. Um, and then this morning, while well, Mr. Bob is napping, I realized after doing my last round of pigments, which included beetroot and red cabbage, that I really needed to split up the earth pigments and lake pigments because I had, they weren't fitting in one box anymore. And I can't see myself, at least for the moment, um, stopping because there's no way to get the pigments that you think you might want to use or figure out what's going to work and what's not without doing the, some experimenting. And I had my one experiment sample palette. Um, I had everything in one palette, but I have split them up. I was thinking I was going to have to buy boxes. I'm like, okay, wait, <laughs> hold the phone, take a deep breath, do <laughs> <laughs> let, don't let the anxiety win and immediately jump on that. Oh, let's buy something train. Let's look in the art room closet over here. Let's look in the organization closet if needed. And let's see if we have, I had something. Let's see if we have something. I did, I had these two boxes. They were both empty. I do remember buying them for something else and then them not quite being the right thing. Anyway, I have them. And, um, so I set those two up. They're kind of drying. I'm going to need to do new color swatch cards for them. But for the moment, that works just fine. So, yeah, that's all good, I think. I'm trying to get some stuff done when I can. Next week's going to be busy. We've got people coming by to measure flooring for Mr. Bob's new office um, redo. And... I have to take my car in to have service done on it. It needs an oil change, but now, of course, as you know, if you're watching the vlog, the passenger side seat motor or something is broken and it doesn't move back and forward. It's stuck in a position. So we changed the switch and it's not helping. So I don't know if there's something jammed down there that we can't see or I don't know. So I'm going to take it in. It's not my favorite thing to do. <sighs> anyway. I'm going to finish my water, which has an immune boosting tablet in it because we don't want to get sick. And I'm going to go downstairs, have some bone broth and some lunch. And <sighs> yeah, maybe do laundry. Ugh. All right, okay, I'll be back. It's Monday, November 28th. It's just before 10 a.m. I'm going to finally take a shower and get dressed. Um, we had a flooring guy come by to measure Bob's office and... They'll get back to us in a couple of days and we'll go down there and confirm which flooring he wants and get that paid for and scheduled everything to get the flooring done in his office. 
his desk from Uplift came. Um, not sponsored, but if you want to, I could use a new table for the middle of the art room or a desk or something. Anyway, uh, we bought a desk from Uplift. We have a lot of people in our personal lives who have them. They love them. Again, not sponsored, but I'll put the link below. Uh, anyway, I... I'm supposed to take my car in to have the passenger side seat uh, looked at tomorrow morning and hopefully I can sweet talk them into changing the oil while it's there. Um, so I think I'm going to go run a couple errands today, assuming at the very least I don't have my car all day tomorrow. Worst case scenario, I don't have it for a couple of days. So there's that. I have another car I could drive. We have another car I could drive. Um, it's not my favorite car to drive because it's a little tiny sports car, but you know, I don't know how to drive the big Barracuda because I don't know how to drive a stick shift, fun fact. So there's that. Anyway, I guess I better get dressed and get on with the things I need to do today. I'll be back. I do want to say Bob is sick. He has fluctuated the last 24 hours between 101 and 103 fever. Um, so he is on lots of medications and vitamin supplements. I still am not sick. I have no fever, no nothing. So I'm trying to stay that way. I'll be okay. back. Kind of proud of myself. Not only is it cold and I'm not getting steps in, I brought my sketch board with me. I got three quick sketches in, despite the fact that it's, what it was at 42, but feels like 38, something like that. You can tell my nose is red. It's cold. And it's starting to drizzle. But I've been reading Trapping with the Color Box. She talks about getting out anyway, and if it's cold and miserable, just be quick. So that's what I did. We'll do the journaling when I get home. I hear ducks. We'll see if we can get some pictures. I'll be back. This is more than a little bit precarious. I only have two hands. <laughs> anyway, yep, all the ducks are back. Hey guys, we're at the dealership dropping off my car. It's gonna be a couple hours before they diagnose what's wrong with the seat. And uh, I just told them, no hurry. I'd rather you get it done, take your time. Anyway, Bob is feeling better today. Although he's still sick, he's gonna come get me. Um, he was way less phlegmy when he got up this morning than he's been, but he still has a fever. So we're gonna take it easy. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna have him come get me because I don't want to deal with Uber or Lyft, but um, after that, he can just stay home and we'll take it from there. <sighs> I'll be back. It has been a day, let's see. It's 4.33 p.m., same day. Um, my car has been at the shop all day. Um, um, they're fixing what they can. The seat is stuck. Um, the motor is gone as just toast. Um, and the part through the dealerships just ginormously too expensive to not only get the part, but to put it in. My dad is a retired auto mechanic. And so we're going to try to find a part on the secondhand market, secondary market. And, um, we'll drive the car up to my dad's to put it in. Um, so free labor, just the cost of the part and we should be able to get a better deal on the part than the dealership wants to give us. Anyway, in the meantime, as long as I'm not too close to the airbag, that seat's safe to sit in. So there's that. Um, Son-in-law's got the same thing as Bob. Sick. The little ones next door, they're sick too since like the day after Thanksgiving. Um, whatever this cold flu thing is, like is crazy, it's definitely not COVID. Bob and I just both tested and it's not COVID. Um, cat's probably going to test the girls, but we don't, none of us think it's COVID. It's just whatever this crazy cold flu thing that's literally going around the world is. So anyway, it's hard for me to get too far into new projects today because I'm anticipating like the phone ringing all day or something or worried about Bob drinking enough water or taking his meds or like, it's just a thing. I did get a couple sketches done, but yeah, anyway. <sighs> All right, I'll be back. It's 2.17 p.m. Wednesday, Octo uh, October, holy cow, November 30th. Um, I'm gonna make some lunch. I have been up for a bit this morning. 
I made a couple of little um, quick little stuffed bears for the little ones next door because they're still sick and not feeling well and the parents are starting to get it. So anyway, put a couple of journals in there, some color pencils, that kind of thing. And got that done. And then I spent some time this morning um, figuring out what I'm gonna do with the Etsy store merchandise that's just sitting there clogging up my space in my Etsy store and my space in my closet. And so I think I found a place if they are interested to donate said items to where they might be useful for them and what they do. And if they want them, then I have to not only clean out the closet, take an inventory, have a receipt, make some kind of inventory list and receipt. Yeah, it's not as easy as pulling stuff out of the closet and bringing it over there. So anyway, we'll see what they say. And uh, yeah, thanks for the encouragement, Mike. I think I needed a kick in the butt to get this done. Anyway, and not Mike, my brother, Mike Deacon. All right, I'm gonna make some lunch. I'll be I back. I didn't intend on doing that today, but I did. What did I do, you ask? Well, all of that is Etsy store inventory. Um, I left up the digitals and some original artwork. Everything else is down. Um, I wish some of y'all were local because I tell you, give me 20 bucks, you can pick whatever you want. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, I pulled it all out. I'm gonna have to inventory it before I do anything else with it, but it's out and down there. I've got a pile of trash and I did rearrange the closet a bit and lo and behold, I've got breathing room in there. I also rearranged the paintings that are for sale um, in the other room. Um, again, original artwork that is listed in other places, not on Etsy, um, can't stretch canvas. So if you want a canvas, um, that you've seen on social media somewhere, check my Facebook page and my Instagram. If you see something you like, message me. I'll let you know if it's still available, how much it is and what shipping will be. Anyway. <sighs> yeah, I need to get the trash out of here now and step away for a minute because, wow. All right, I'll be I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this. We thought it was just raining really hard. Yeah. It's a rain hail mix. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Oh, there you can see the little icy lumps on the patio table. Wow. Bob's finally feeling better and wants to go walking, but I'm not sure that's gonna happen. Yeah, I think snow is coming. I will say I kind of like this being a couple of weeks ahead on the vlog thing. It's nice to not have to rush every week to get it edited and loaded. Not that I don't enjoy doing that for you all, but it's nice to not have to rush the process. So anyway, I'm uploading the latest vlog. We'll get it up on YouTube and we'll get it scheduled on all of that stuff. <sighs> yeah, anyway. And I've already sold one box full of the purged Etsy store inventory to one of the patrons. I filled her box over here. Thank you, Wendy, appreciate that. If you wanna join Patreon for access to video content that is not accessible to anybody else but them, free um, downloads and things for me, the occasional free gift for me when postage is an outrageous, um, and good deals like this where I can say, hey, I'm clearing this out, would you like a box? Join my Patreon, and you can also support the free content here on YouTube. But we also have a private friend, uh, patrons and supporters uh, YouTube uh, messenger chat, I mean, YouTube, Facebook messenger chat, um, and they get, um, ready access to me all the time. They know before you all do, if I'm out doing something extra fun, like when I was in Hawaii, they knew before you all did that I got hurt. But anyway, um, oh, this is just Wendy. Anyway, if you'd like to be a member over in Patreon, the link is down below. I would appreciate the support. That would be great. All right. <sighs> That's it. I guess I have no excuse now, but to go do the dishes. An artist has got to do chores every now and then, and someday I've got to finish that over there. I do know where it needs to go. I just haven't gotten a chance to get over there. Anyway, I better get to it. I'll be Good back. Morning, everybody. It is just after 9.30 a.m. 
Thursday, December 1st. Anyway, I don't really need to do anything in particular. I just kind of want to get out of the house. So I'm going to go. There are a couple things in the back of my mind I might want to get, but I also need to get some cash because I only have $5 on me. That's not a lot. Anyway, so I'm going to go down to Hobby Lobby. Be very judicious about what I'm buying, but I might see if they have a good deal on another one of those clipboards I made the urban sketching board out of. I'd sort of like a backup board. But for some reason, when I paid $8.99 at the art supply store, it made me really, really, really not want to spend $16 on it on Amazon. You heard me right, 16, double the price. Anyway, <clears throat> and um, Columbia Art and Drafting is <clears throat> on the other side of Portland, on the east side of Portland. It's not the best side of town and I don't want to go there by myself and blah, 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 blah. So I'm gonna go see if they have something on Hobby Lobby that looks close to home. Plus I kind of want to go to Dollar Tree. Check and see what they have, especially for holiday decor. And then I need to come home and I need to make Monday's mood board for December for Moody Mondays for A Life of Art and Self-Expression, my Facebook group. If you're not a member, why not? Anyway, so I need to do that. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue it for next year, but I am. I have one more to do for this year. If you're a member of the group, and you have an opinion about the daily creative words or the mood boards, let me know in the comments below. All right. And if you want to join the group, links are in my link tree list of links for uh, the group, which is down below. And um, there's also links there and in the disc video description for my Patreon to support the free content here on YouTube and all of that jazz. All right. That's it for the minute. I'll be back. I'm turning the corner to get into the Hobby Lobby parking lot. Uh, a Mr. B update. So he is feeling better. His fever this morning is finally under 100. This is the first time since Sunday, Saturday. It's been 100, over 100 or higher since Sunday. So that's good. He also had a second cup of coffee this morning and was hungry when he woke up which he hasn't done that all week. And yeah, so, um, and he's being sarcastic. It's, you know, it's normal self anyway. So yay, he's feeling better. He's supposed to have a Masonic meeting tonight, which I, even though he's feeling better, he's probably not going to. And then there's supposed to be an event this weekend at the lodge that I was supposed to go with him and the kids, but it's gonna depend if he's better or not. He's gotta talk to the guys and see what they think. Anyway, we'll see. I'll be back. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to take my face out of here now. And you're looking to build yourself an urban sketching kit, some sort of um, mobile art kit, whether you're traveling or you just want to go down to the park and do a little art, mixed media, whatever. Um, a really great way to get a small kit to put things in is to get one of these inexpensive art kit and really just buy it for the box. Um, especially if you get it on clearance or you're at a store like I'm at right now, Ross Dress for Less. Um, the art supplies in it are probably garbage, which is fine because you're just paying a couple bucks for the box. And the wooden box actually, all the boxes were very nice. The wooden one was really nice. Anyway, I don't need any more, so I didn't buy any more. But yeah, it's a great way to get sort of an urban sketch kit, box, bag, pochade box, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, they also had a bigger um, pochade box, art, urban art box at Hobby Lobby um, this morning. That was only $30. Some of these boxes can cost hundreds of dollars. Not that they're not worth it, but when you're on a budget, you just can't spend that. And to be honest with you, I don't want to spend that. 
I saw a watercolor box the other day on Amazon. I'm sure it's a great watercolor box. It's empty, mind you, and it's not super huge. It does have a water container and two small pots in it, but and empty pans for watercolors, but it was $300 without any paint. Yeah, so anyway, really think twice about what you're buying and make sure it's gonna be useful. It doesn't have to be the prettiest thing on the planet, it just needs to be functional. So anyway, just some thoughts. All right, let's head home, I'll be back. Guys, so I was sitting in the living room creating some new stencil designs for the patrons and supporters because going forward they're going to get um, copies of the designs old ones new ones they can cut themselves or use however they want anyway this is our driveway after they've cleaned up the leaves it was a hell of a lot of leaves you probably could have filled up one truck with yeah now they're working on the backyard it's just as bad Welcome to Oregon. <laughs> anyway, all right. I'm still a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna have a snack. I'll be back. Friday, December 2nd. I don't know what time it is. It's late in the day. It's well after lunch. 2.27 p.m. Um, I haven't vlogged before now just because it's been kind of a busy morning. I got seven journal pages done today and filmed. Um, one is a little bonus page making a tool out of garbage. You'll have to wait and see. That's all I can tell you. Um, hi. So I heard a, a thing from somebody I thought was a load of crap, to be honest. I heard it from somebody from somewhere who had a friend. Yeah, basically. Brother-in-law's sister's aunt told, <laughs> told you, right? Or something like that? So it said that if you have gloves on and you're trying to, like, open your iPhone, your cell phone, and you don't have the grippy things on your gloves like these don't have lick your fingertip of your glove and then swipe it across your screen it should let you open it and open apps or whatever i didn't really think that would work because that sounds weird well because you're skeptical i uh, very but you know what it worked you got grippy things you got grippy things i don't have grippy things anyway we are headed over to uh mod pizza i think one of those blaze up here one of those build a custom pizza things where you get just a little personal pizza and they'll put custom toppings on it. I didn't feel like making a pizza myself. It is Pizza Friday. Yes, we do pizza a lot. Yes, we've been doing pizza on Fridays for almost the whole 40 years I've for known like, Bob. Like, like for a long time. Do I get tired of pizza? Yes. <laughs> anyway, any more pizza questions? <laughs> Leave them down below. I'll answer them for you. Um... So we're gonna go do that. We're not seeing the kids tonight, um, partly because we were supposed to see them tomorrow. Um, we're better, Bob's better. He doesn't have a fever today. He's still, as you heard, coughing and a little bit congested. I'm coughing a bit and I have a sore throat. 
but I don't have a fever either. So I don't know what that means for tomorrow, but we'll find out. I'll be back. It is Saturday, December 3rd. Third. Yeah, third. 1.55 p.m. We've spent the morning um, doing some chores around the house, um, fixing Hazel up, the robot vacuum. She was having a temper tantrum yesterday, but we got that straightened out and she did her, her job today. <laughs> and um, <laughs> just doing some stuff around the house. Despite the coughing you just heard, he is better. Um, he's no longer contagious. He doesn't have a fever. There's a little bit of a lingering cough, but I understand with this flu thing that's going around, that's a thing. So my cough amounted to nothing. It's just my normal allergies, asthma, whatever. Anyway, we're going to go out and run a couple of errands. Um, maybe we got to do something to my car. Um, they left a piece of trim off on the inside on the passenger seat at the dealership. If I'd known when I picked the car up, I would ask them to fix it. But anyway, we can put it back together. So we're going to do that, hopefully, and pick up a Christmas present. And then we have a Masonic Lodge thing tonight. I can't really film that because that's like a no-no, but I will film what I can and let you know how it goes. Anyway... We're going to go get our stuff done. I'll we be are on our way to the Masonic Lodge. I heard from Bob earlier that I will be able to maybe get a couple of video clips, film the whole thing, because that's like invading a bunch of people's privacy. And I won't put the sound in, but I may do a few clips here and there. Um, anyway, and yes, my hair is actually looking decent. Not that you can see it real well, because it's dark. Feet. I actually have makeup on. So, you know, I even have a dress on in pantyhose. Well, tights. I know, right? Are we? Are you guys as shocked as I am? And yes, Mister is in a tuxedo. Anyway, and he owns the tuxedo. He doesn't rent it. Anyway. It's dark. That's better. So we are on our way home. It's about 9.30ish. Um, after the Masonic event, the installation, then we went out with the kids for some dessert and drinks. I had coffee, of course. And oh, that's cute. Wait, hold on. You guys gonna be able to see this? Uh, yeah, there. It's a park full of like, Lights. Lights. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's cute. Uh, anyway, sorry, squirrel. Um, we're headed home now and we're going to get warm and put on jammies and all of that stuff. We've had a pretty good week despite being sick. Um, we came through the other end. It's all good. Tomorrow's going to be an errand day, shopping day, maybe a little thrifting, but we've got to start getting Christmas stocking stuffers and all that. Anyway, but that's for next week's vlog. We will see you next week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. What are you all doing for Christmas? Anyway, uh, what else, dear?
That's it. That's it. I, can't I think that's it. Check the video description for relevant links for my Patreon. I've got some exciting stuff coming up for you all who are already pa who are patrons. And so check that out and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye guys.